Hi everyone, I'm Peter and in today's video we're going to look at the stylus tools built into Chrome OS. Now I'm working on the Acer Chromebook Spin 13 which is a fantastic Chromebook which includes one of these, a stylus, and this is a great tool for teaching with. So let's have a look at how you can configure this in Chrome OS. The first thing we need to do is check that the stylus tools are turned on in Chrome OS. So you can do this by clicking on the clock and then selecting the gear icon up here to go into settings. Once we get to it, let's type in stylus in the search box and then select the stylus tools down here. And what we need to do is make sure show stylus tools in the shelf is turned on. We have a few other settings to explore here. So from this window, we can also decide what note taking app we want the stylus tools to default to. So by default, it will use Google Keep. Uh, on this Chromebook, I also have Squid installed. Uh, you can find more tools as well. If you click on Find More Stylus Apps, this will open up the Google Play Store and show you other apps which work well with the stylus. Also on here, you can select whether you want to enable note taking from a lock screen, which is a nice time saver if you want to quickly take a note without unlocking your Chromebook. Once you've turned on the stylus tools, you'll have a new pen icon which appears down here on the bottom right next to the clock. And if we click on there with our stylus, we can explore some of the tools available. So the first one I'm going to look at is the magnifying glass. And this is a nice way of enlarging an area of a screen and drawing attention to that. And you can use this whether you're teaching in a classroom and projecting up on a board, or if you're creating a screencast with Screencastify, or if you're in Google Meet. I use this in screencasts all the time. So it's just a nice way of quickly drawing attention to an area of a screen. The next tool I'm going to show you is the laser pointer. So if we select this, it will turn our stylus into a laser pointer. And again, this works whether you're on a projector, if you're filming a screencast using Screencastify, or if you're on a Google Meet and sharing your screen. Now let's have a look at the Create Note tool. So if I select this, it will open up my default note-taking app, which in this case is Google Keep. And then I can quickly take a note by writing on screen. If we go up here, I've got different tools I can select, so I can change uh, the color and thickness of my pen. And rub it out again. The last stylus tools to show you are the capture screen and capture region options. So capture screen will just capture your entire screen. Uh, capture region I'll find really useful. So if I select this option, I can then draw over the area I want to capture. And this will create a file, save that to my Google Drive. And from here, I can annotate this image in Google Keep, or I can just copy it to the clipboard and insert it into a Google Doc or Google Slide. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed exploring the different stylus tools available. If you're looking for apps which work well with stylus, I highly recommend downloading Google Jamboard, which is a great virtual interactive whiteboard app, which will work brilliantly on your Chromebook with a stylus. Also check out Adobe Sketch and Squid, which is a great note-taking app. 